Oops. There we go. Time to drink the stuff that's on sale. This is my Piaggio Kickstarter beer open. Right. Oh, good. All right, let me give you a quick tour of this. Kimco Super 8. It was a raffle bike a couple of years ago in a rally. It's about 500 miles. Uh, belongs to a friend of mine. We uh, did some CVT stuff. I'll get to that at, in, at a later point because I still need to install the clutch. But there is already, you can see here, this is aluminum. There's an air cell 70cc cylinder on. We did. What? Boop, 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 boop. There's a uh, Technigas Next R pipe on. There aren't really that many pipes for uh, Kim Coase. So it just went with uh, some nice sporty stuff. Um, the hard part was the carburetor. There isn't really anything on the market aside from a super expensive Chinese rebuilt, like Chinese knockoff carburetor kit. Usually the pipe, the intake manifold comes out and goes out this way. And it's made from like straight cast aluminum. And you can, the kit you can buy is about 20 millimeters of a carb and it just, it just seems off. So, um, so what I did, I bought this piece of aluminum. I dremeled it open to, to have this like Venturi from this Piaggio intake that I had laying around to the uh, reed the reed valves of the Kimco, which I opened a little bit too. And then we're running a old, from like 1989, I think, Mikuni VM20. I have, I have mounted this car on about three different bikes now and I really like working with it. It's, um, it's good maintenance. The bolts are very sturdy, the threads are very nice, the aluminum is pretty hard. And it's just overall a nice carburetor. I'll move to the other side and show you a little bit of what I did to it. As you can see here, I just put a valve, a valve on to have some on and off. There's no reserve. I, the reserve is going to be indicated on the on the gauge. Um, I had to uh, cut off a piece here from the uh, the, eva the uh, evacuation tube, so it's kind of hard to get to. But you can still drain the carb if needs be. Um, this was a temperature sensor, I think for the choke. I just cut it off, it's shut, it's fine. Uh, you have your thing, your idle, geez, you have your idle screw. And I need to fit a choke on there. Other than that, it's fine. Looks good, throttle cable had to be done. Had to be remade, which is a bitch on this bike because you have to take all this stuff off. And it's somewhere in there. And yeah, Kimco is not very easy to work on. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this carburetor off. We're gonna fit our new uh, pressure tester in. We're gonna plug the exhaust hole, which means I have to take the exhaust off. And then we can see if my, my intake and the cylinder are not leaking. Before I forget, we cut off the uh, the vacuum pump because vacuum pumps are stupid. So we're basically just going straight, straight from the tank, gravity feed through the fuel filter into the carburetor.
Alright. Just came back from Home Depot. And any auto store. Because um, I've, I've been play, toying with this idea for a while now to uh, make my own leak down tester. So I got me a, uh, a pressure test gauge from 0 to 15 psi. From what I read, you don't want to go above 10 psi, otherwise, you blow your gasket and your seals. This is my uh, carburetor rubber that I took just to see if it if it would fit. A PVC pipe adapter. I'm just gonna take the sticker off. What else did we get? Oh yeah. See, three quarter nipple that fits in here and uh, will fit the the test gauge hopefully. Alright. I got these two rubber expansion plugs because I'm certain this one will fit into the 50cc engines and this one is uh, most likely fit the Vespa ones. I didn't done some measurements earlier, it says that the exhaust ports are 30 millimeters. So let's see if this, what I can do with this. After all, it's rubber, it should be flexible. Right. I'll take all the stuff out. Uh, I'll see you in a second. All right. So here we are. The idea behind this leak down tester is we're gonna plug both carb side and exhaust side, and we'll we'll check with pressure if the engine is not doesn't have an air leak. The uh, spark plug hole will be stuffed with a spark plug, so there's no no issue there. Um, the idea is the following. We have this nipple, goes into this PVC pipe. Which goes into the, the inlet rubber. I'll have this on, you know. This way on the engine. Turn it a little bit, I suppose. This will be clamped down, and then I can uh, through the Schrader valve. I can get the pressure up to around six psi, and then leave it that way and see if we can, if the engine maintains this pressure, so we don't have an air leak. And then on the exhaust side, I will use these uh, expansion plugs. I actually think I was a bit over eager on this one. I guess I was. Probably have to go back and get another one. Yeah, that's the idea. Pressure gauge in my intake. I had to squeeze it in a little bit, but everything's fine. Seems to be sealed up. Then I made this, this bracket. Not one of my best work, and I think that's exactly the reason why it's not keeping pressure. But I need to get a, a bottle of soap to check. So I've sprayed some soap on. You can see here how it does not keep pressure, and you can see it's easy at it, guys. Huh? Um, I think I need to rework. Need to rework that. Maybe get the countersink. All right. It is now midnight. Um, I've messed with it on and off. There is no air leak here anymore, which we had earlier. But now we have it back here. But I think that was just because I took the paper and. Um, rubber gasket off so I apply a new gasket I let it dry I, I tightened everything down and that's it there is no leak around anywhere around the block which is nice I had a little scratch in the aluminum which was a Dremel accident and it seems to come out that way 
Um, so I'm hoping when the gasket dries it'll be fine, otherwise I just need to plane it down. No big deal. Alright, it's at this point that I had a little bit of trouble to uh, get everything sealed up. So I went back the day after, I made a little bit of spacer out of an old Piaggio reed valve. Um, and I got everything tight, but I didn't have any footage. Um, I will go through the clutch and the CVT in my next video. But once that is done, um, I'll go back and we can we can check out the carburetor and see what I did there. Um, until then, uh, please follow me, subscribe on the right up here. Uh, check out my sponsor uh, on the right down and check out my, my latest stuff on the left. So thank you very much and see ya.